If you have an urge when it comes down to your NoFap journey, please watch this video. What is going on brothers of YouTube? Brother Lodge is here, your masculinity coach. In this video, I want to talk to you about what you must do when you have an urge and to maybe even give you a little bit of motivation. But as we know, motivation only goes temporarily. The main thing that you need to realize when it comes down to your NoFap journey is when you see Elijah do this thing. Now, fellas, I want you to stay tuned by the end of the video so you know the motivation and the drive you must have when it comes down to your NoFap journey. We must come to a realization, fellas, that you got to have the mindset that Chuck E. Cheese will always be better than David and Buster's. I'm kidding, fellas. I'm, I'm just joking. Listen. But now, on a serious note, you have to come to a realization that you must have a disciplined game plan that'll be able to take you far on your nofap journey many people that have an urge on their nofap journey what they do they get inside of their mind the bible says that the kingdom of god is within fellas it is best for a man to take full accountability for everything that he has we got to come to a realization that this urge of no fat, you control it. You control the way that you succeed on no fat. If you've lost, you've lost. If you've won, you've won. But everything is your fault. The Bible says when you are a child, you act like a child. But when you are a man, you do things as a man. A lot of men on here who are practicing no fat are becoming young men. They may be 18 years old, 21 years old, or 25. Just know that we are out of our um, lower teen years, right? And we are entering into the manhood. As the man, we are called to be the provider and be the protector. Because we are called to be the provider and the protector, the woman wants to submit to the man. Now, if the man is continuously whining and a man is blaming other things, how is the woman going to come in and be the full helper and be the, the woman, the feminine woman she can be? Every man must take accountability, and it starts off with your NoFap journey. This can go with, let's say that you're at school. If you're at school, it's time. There's always going to be temptation in this world, and it's, always, it's, it's going to get to a point where temptation is always going to be around you because we live in the world of what we're living in. But if you're a Christian brother in here, you know the power of Luke 10, 19. Haven't I commanded you, or I have given you full authority to tremble over all snakes and scorpions, and nothing shall harm you. Fellas. We are called to take full accountability in everything that we do. If it's a spiritual war, in Jesus' name, we take full authority in our prayer. If it's a mental war, okay, you know what to do. You got to flee from it, right? The Bible says you should submit yourself to the Lord, resist the devil, and he will flee. Take accountability for the actions that you take. We got to quit blaming the Jezebel spirit. We got to quit blaming the external things that has caused us to be at this level. We got to start blaming ourselves. If you are tempted into something, or if maybe you're not disciplined, check your action game plan when no one's watching you. If you're doing something on an instant gratification level, then what's going to happen is when a person goes out there on an instant gratification level, more than a delayed gratification level, this guy would not be disciplined. But if the man was able to be disciplined and have a delayed gratification game plan when no one's watching him, right, him doing things that other people would not be willing to do, I guarantee you, that he will go out there and be strong and courageous. He will be a disciplined man and he will be able to resist temptation a lot easier. Right? The Bible says that treat the body as a temple of the Holy Spirit. Now, God will always continuously keep you know, coming into us in terms of if we keep sticking him out. But I tell you one thing, and I tell you one thing. If a man keeps eating Wendy's or Burger King and he expects to go hundreds and hundreds of days of no fat, Prayer is definitely key. The Bible says faith without work is death. Faith without works is death. If a man is eating Wendy's and, he, and he, he wants to be disciplined with no fat, it will be a lot harder for him than a man who is eating salads and disciplining his flesh to not consume 
fats, not consume sugars all the time. Okay? So disciplining yourself, that way you shall be denied. The Bible says that 1 Corinthians 9 27, therefore I discipline the body, therefore when preaching to other people, I myself shall be denied. You gotta realize that faith that work is dead, and we gotta take it full accountability for everything that we do. If you are on 100 plus days, this is all your fault. You just got to realize that the Bible, okay, there is a heaven and there's a hell. If you go to hell, that's your fault. If you go to heaven, that's your fault. You know why? Because God has given you free will. Same thing with salvation. God has given you free will to accept the, the grace of God. What, what Jesus Christ has died on the cross for you. He's died on the cross. That way, you shall, the, all of your sins shall, shall be forgiven, right? The Bible says the wages of the sin is death. You have a free will to accept this or not, right? You have a free will to accept the gospel, right? If you don't, there's always going to be a consequence, right? There's a consequence in the spiritual realm. There's a consequence in the mental realm, right? Let's, let's go with the mental realm for right quick. If a man is eating any continuous, unclean foods, okay, God has given you free will to eat that. He's given you free will. You can go out there and buy some unclean foods. But what's, what, 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 what is going to happen if he keeps doing that? He's going to start feeling draft low energy he's gonna feel fat right so god has given you free will to eat that but i'll tell you one thing number two if you are a man eating salads or if you're a man eating clean foods clean foods that will get you to the next level continuously there's a consequence for that the consequence is you are going to be able to go out there with a disciplined body with a body that people look at like wow his body seems very very healthy so there is a consequence of everything. And that goes the same thing with the spiritual realm. Okay, if you accept the Lord as, as your Lord and Savior, okay, you will be saved and He will restore your life. But if you don't, okay, you, the, questions will, the questions will never be answered. Right? This goes with no fat journey, fellas. If you start disciplining yourself and you start going a level you've never seen before, start doing things where other people are not watching, you're starting to discipline your, your, your mindset, discipline your flesh, on a continuous basis, more than instant gratification, you will be able to go out in the world well over 60 plus days of no fat. And that's a beautiful thing about you reap what you sow. That's a beautiful thing about what you give, you will start to give back. So if you want the best of your no fat journey, and if you want to oh, abstain from masturbation for a period of time, this is where you got to come in and start working on yourself. Start disciplining yourself. Start disciplining you know, everything that you do, that way you can go out and abstain from masturbation. Fellas, if you guys got something got some out of the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? But until then, I think... No! My brother, Elijah, gotta do it.